So I'm here with Joe. Firstly, a massive congratulations, Joe, a brand new dad. My main question is, how did you get away from the missus with the newborn this weekend? They're actually in the motorhome at the moment. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I've dragged them over for the first holiday, yeah, or his first holiday. Um, but he's been tucked up in there with the weather and stuff that we've had. But um, no, it's all been good. It's um, just a shame about the weather, really, isn't it? But it's, it's the same for everyone. It's, uh, hopefully we can get going today, but just have to wait and see what happens. And of course, you had the wet conditions yesterday as well. How does that change it for you when you're out on the circuit? For me personally, uh, last year we were just so lucky. I never raced in the wet at all last year, and we did a lot of riding. Uh, so I've actually raced in the wet since 2021 at the Anglesey Grand. Um, so it was a bit of a nervous wreck yesterday, to be honest. Um, but no, it's it's getting used to it again, and the tyres are so good nowadays. You know, it's it's incredible how how, how grippy it is, and round here the surface is really really grippy and quite good condition at the Southern 100 the other week although obviously it all got short, uh, cut short with the tragedies that happened it's so bumpy around there, it's so much harder to ride well, around here it's like a short circuit but with trees and hedges um, but no it's, it's really grippy and uh, some real good racing I was going to say Joe, I mean you've come here plenty of times before you know this circuit pretty much inside out I mean how does it compare to other racetracks? I know it's a road surface, so it's always going to be different anyway, but how does it compare overall? I've only ever raced on two road circuits here in Balaam back at home, and here is so much more smoother compared to that. It's like, it's like a short circuit, really. The, it doesn't get a lot of traffic up here from what I can gather, um, but them big hills and then the hairpins is something totally unique. Um, Balaam's very fast and flowing, um, so to come here and experience that, like I remember when I was came here for the first time at the Gold Cup last year it was you watch on boards and you know it's narrow but when you actually get here and you see how steep that hill is coming out of me a hairpin it's quite amazing I think if they actually decided to make this a racetrack now it would never happen but because it's gone on for so long it's still here but it's such an amazing circuit and I just hope it keeps going you know with the insurance difficulties on the other tracks and stuff it's such a it'd be such a shame to lose this as well and uh, it's just nice to see it so well supported uh, and Andy Hayes and the team are a brilliant committee, you know, they help us out for coming from the Isle of Man. Um, no, it's just a brilliant, brilliant place and I love it. It's, that tightness is the unique part of it because it's got the high speed for pretty much a short circuit as well, really. Yeah, yeah. no, it's, it's very fast. It's like got the top fast sections and then the hairpins and that first corner, no matter how many times you ride it, it's so scary on the first lap, all piling into there. But no, it's, it's a great place and it's good to teach you on your late breaking and stuff like that and uh, the hairpins and stuff. And then you go to a wide open circuit and it feels relatively easy after riding around here. So it's the first time we've had you back here for a little while, Joe, as well. Yeah. Yeah, so it's been a little while. What keeps bringing you back to Oliver's Mount? You mentioned some of those key bits there, but when we're in the paddock as well, there's a little bit more of a different atmosphere. Yeah, no, definitely. It's uh, Obviously, everyone's all tight in down here and they've got the entertainment up there and um, you know, the same faces keep coming back and it's nice to see some of the bigger names attending some of the meetings as well. I know July's a busy month for a lot of people, so with the Southern 100 and stuff like an Armoy next week, some people can't afford to race every weekend with the prices of everything now, but um, no, it's, it's, it's always well attended and you know different names here and there. And um, no, I'm really looking forward to the Gold Cup now as well. You know, it's, it's, that's the busiest meeting of the year. And hopefully we get some better weather. Well, I was going to say, what's the rest of the, of the year looking like for you? I know you've got the newborn to think about as well, but how is the rest of the year looking for you in the season as well? Yeah, um, I've got Anglesey next weekend, um, and then it's the Manx Grand Prix then. I'm a newcomer this year there, so I'm really looking forward to that. Um, I've had a bit of time off this year with obviously the baby and stuff. He's three weeks old now, so I, I've missed out on a bit of track time and stuff like that. But um, Riding for Ian, you know, we've we've managed to get out four times on this bike throughout the year because we've had a bit of a delay on our engines for the modern bikes. So we lost an engineer in April, and I've not actually used my R6s since then because we've had to wait for the cylinder heads to come um, from America. So without Ian letting me ride these bikes, I wouldn't have had any bikes to ride. So I'm very grateful for that. So we'll be back here in April, uh, in September, hopefully on the ILR pattern, uh, my own 600 and this. So it'll be a busy one for sure. Finally, Joe, before we let you get back to the baby and chilling out as we try and escape the wet weather at the moment, I know you've mentioned the uniqueness of Oliver's Mount, but if I was a rider and I wanted to compete, maybe a newcomer to the sport, why should I come to Oliver's Mount? I think it's it, it's such a great friendly sort of circuit and you know they've got the if you don't qualify for the main race you, you know there's other races you can go in and although it's tight and narrow and that, that puts a lot of people off, you know you just ride at your own limits and, and, and the fast ones will, will leave you 
and because it's not massive grids, you know, it's it, it's just a relaxed atmosphere here, and I love it. And it's um, the road surface is, is relatively smooth, um, and it's just a great place to come. You know, it's not the Southern Hundred can be quite daunting with it with it being so fast, and but round here, you know, it's not as big grids, and it's dead friendly.